When I was a little kid, I loved to play pinball. If you look at a pinball machine, you will see that it has the paddles at the bottom. Sometimes there's paddles up all throughout the way, different areas, and there's lots of noise. The bumpers are everywhere. You shoot the ball up and the ball's all over the place. It's hard to really focus on where the ball is. Your eyes have to go so fast. That is a lot like life. We try to have our time with God. We'll sit, we'll <laughs> open up our Bibles, we'll try hard, we'll listen in the car to the Bible as we're driving. We try to have our time with God. And while we're doing that, our cell phones are ringing, horns are blowing, things are happening. As a parent, I know I'll sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna sit and read. Oh, mom, mom, mom. And it might not be that. It could be the dog, somebody knocking at the door. Something is always going on. And in life, we are standing there and we just keep on having all this ding, 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 going on. And we're just trying to keep our focus on God, but it's so hard because we're like, oh, ooh, oh, look at this, oh, look at that, oh, and you just keep on focusing everywhere else, and you can't focus right where you need to focus. I find that it's important to take all the bells and whistles away, take the cell phone, put it aside. It's important to have yourself a special area, a special time, a special something where you can be alone with God, where you can read His Word, where you can pray. There's a time where we need to be able to sit and have our moment alone. Meditate, let the Spirit speak to us about what we need to hear when we're reading and when we're praying. And it's hard to do all of that with all the bells and whistles. It's hard to do that when we have other people telling us which way to go. When we have so many other problems and so many other activities and so many things in our schedule that we don't have that peace. Only Jesus can give us that peace and if we don't have the time to take, to listen, and to have that peace, then we're never going to get it. In 1 Thessalonians 5.1 it says, do not quench the spirit. Verse 21 says, but examine everything carefully. Hold fast to that which is good. Abstain from every form of evil. It's very important to not quench the spirit. And if we're not allowing the spirit to be heard because everything else is bouncing around in life, we have all the bells and the whistles, and the board's almost on tilt, it gets to be a little, little hectic. And what happens is when you get overloaded, and the board tilts, and you're like, oh, why is the board tilting? You have to wonder to yourself, is it tilting because of all this craziness going on, or is the direction we're, we're being pushed to what God wants for us? When we have the pinball game tilt, it could be because of all these outside influences. It might not be God at all. And there's other times when it actually is God. And the problem that we have is that we keep on pushing the buttons to make the pinball machine go. And we should actually lift up our hands, take them off the paddles, and just allow the silence and to see is the board tilting because of what we're doing, playing along with everybody else, or is it tilting because God actually wants us to go in that direction, and God actually wants us to do that. And that is how we effectively listen. We need to remove all the bells and whistles. We need to take our hands, put them up, and hear what God's actually saying. In the end, it's all about who is controlling the pinball machine. Is it you? Is it the outside people? Or is it God?